Welcome back to Cruising America, everyone. Today we're visiting Bluff Fort along the San Juan River in southeast Utah. We're Steve and Kathleen. We're Cruising America in our 35-foot fifth-wheel RV, chasing 70-degree weather year-round. If you'd like to watch our previous videos, please click the Cruising America playlist link in the description below this video. Otherwise, enjoy our current episode starting now. Bluff, the first Anglo community in southeastern Utah, was settled in April 1880 by Mormon pioneers seeking to establish a mission on the San Juan River in the present-day Four Corners area. The San Juan area of southeastern Utah was then known as a refuge for lawless men. The San Juan mission would act as a buffer for the rest of settled Utah, establish law and order, and maintain friendly relations with the Indians in the area. Historians consider the Hole in the Rock expedition one of the most extraordinary wagon trips ever undertaken in North America and a fine example of pioneer spirit. A mission call went out in December of 1878 and answered by numerous southern Utah families, many of whom gave up fine homes to move with all their possessions to the remote San Juan area. Seventy families consisting of around 250 men, women, and children left Escalante in south-central Utah in October 1879, intending to establish the mission at Montezuma on the San Juan River. Using a route advised by a previous scouting party known as the Escalante Shortcut, the pioneers expected the 125-mile trek to take about six weeks. Instead, the journey extended 260 miles over six months via the Hole in the Rock Trail in arduous winter conditions. By April 1880, the pioneers were too exhausted to continue their intended destination 20 miles upriver and chose to settle along a flat area in the river valley. Calling the new location Bluff City, the pioneers began dividing the land, building log cabins, and digging a ditch from the river for crop irrigation. Many sections of the trail were almost impassable. To allow wagon passage, the men spent six weeks blasting and chiseling a path through a narrow 1,200-foot drop in the sandstone cliffs known as the Hole in the Rock, which is still visible at present-day Lake Powell. Hole in the Rock Foundation rebuilt and lovingly restored the original Bluff Fort in 2008. Many descendants even provided artifacts and documentation for displays.
In a corner of the fort, a co-op store opened in June 1882. The co-op sold goods and supplies to the people in the fort and traded with the Navajo. Joseph A. Lyman was appointed salesman. Soon the store began to declare dividends. The pioneers bought Navajo wool, pelts, and blankets and transported this merchandise to Durango, Colorado for sale. On the return trip from Durango, they brought other freight to be sold in Bluff. Profits from the co-op provided means for the pioneers to stay in Bluff and to help make a start in the very prosperous cattle business years later. One of the original cabins, the Barton Cabin, may still be seen at the Bluff Fort. You will also find one of the original wagons used in the Hole in the Rock expedition. Replicas of the original log cabins in the Meeting House have been constructed to give the visitor a glimpse of pioneer life on the San Juan in the 1880s. A replica of the co-op store was completed in 2013 and serves as the visitor center and gift shop. Another recent addition is the giant water wheel in the center of the grounds, where visitors can try their hand at gold panning. If you're a history buff, you will love the presentation in the Visitor Center. Here you can watch a movie of the Hole in the Rock expedition. What's most impressive is the movie is broken into three segments, shown in three different rooms. And the docents transition from friendly conversation into the prelude and then handoff to the actors of the movie. Very professionally done. Also, the move isn't a documentary, but a dramatization to help you understand and appreciate why these pioneers' trek was so incredible. Each of the points of interest in the park has pre-recorded information, 
in several languages to describe and better comprehend the relevance of the artifacts before you. Just look for the button panel by the front doors. This feature will enhance your videos with narration if you have good audio capture ability. When you visit this area, you really get a feeling for what life was like as a pioneer. The Colorado Plateau looks flat until you start driving and realize hidden canyons are everywhere descending down from the plateau. It's easy to see how the pioneers saw their 125 mile as the crow flies route turn into more than twice that given the indirect, obstacle avoiding path and almost undoubtedly backtracking. Walking around Bluff Fort makes it easy to learn about the travels and experiences of these hardy pioneers, the astonishing engineering of the trail, and early life in the desert of southeastern Utah. Bluff Fort is located at 550 East Black Locust in Bluff, Utah, and is open year-round Monday through Saturday 9 to 5. Admission is free.